From Central Washington University's campus, it's the 2011 KYVE Apple Bowl. The best of the best competing from 21 area high schools. Presented by the Washington Apple Education Foundation and these participating underwriters. Now your host, Pedro Bichieri. Welcome once again. Thank you for joining us for the 2011 KYVE Apple Bowl. I'm your host, Pedro Bicchieri. Uh, today's contestants, uh, high school Natchez, LaSalle. And let's meet today's players before we get started with the questions. My name is Russell Widener. I'm a junior at Natchez Valley High School, and this is my first year in the Apple Bowl. I'm Lisa Griggs. I'm a junior at Natchez, and this is my first year of the Apple Bowl. And I'm Garrett Gentry. I'm a junior at Natchez, and this is also my first year at the Apple Bowl. My name is Libby Young. I'm a senior at LaSalle High School, and this is my third year at Apple Bowl. My name is Jake Bo'Connor. I'm a junior at LaSalle High School, and this is my third year. Uh, my name is Mike McCarthy. I'm a junior at LaSalle High School, and this is also my third year in the Apple Bowl. All right, contestants, get your fingers on the buzzer, and we'll get ready and get started with uh, toss-up question. Category is fjords. <laughs> the water is abruptly shallower at the mouth of a fjord than towards its head. What kind of glacial deposit accounts for this? <laughs> Correct answer is moraine. Adages. The name for what herb completes this verse? The gardener's rule applies to youth and age. When young, sow wild oats. But when old, grow... Michael, did LaSalle. Sage? That's correct. Sage is the correct answer. Ancient battles. The Greeks fought for ten years at what site to conquer Priam, whose son Paris had held Helen, wife of King Menelaus? Michael LaSalle? Troy. Troy's correct answer. Uh, King Menelaus of Sparta, captive. Correct. Health hazards. What substance, formerly used in paints and still routinely used in plumbing fixtures, Michael LaSalle? Lead. Correct. Can cause birth defects and neurological damage. U.S. history. Six states comprise the Northwest Territory. Which is missing? Minnesota, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin. Yes, Michael LaSalle. Ohio? That is correct. Nice answer. Church music. If a postlude is a piece of music played at the end of a church service, what is played at the beginning? Jacob LaSalle? What is a prelude? That is correct. Diseases. Mr. Gonzo is pale. He has a high rate of heartbeat and is experiencing difficulty in breathing. A doctor's examination shows he has a deficiency in hemoglobin and in red blood cells. Michael LaSalle. Anemic? Uh, yes, correct. A condition known as anemia. Mm -hmm. Disease. The Dutch scientist Martinus Beirink hypothesized that some kind of particle much smaller than a bacterium caused some diseases. What name did he use for this particle? Michael LaSalle. Virus? Virus is correct. Concordats. The Concordat of 1801 in France provided that the nation would pay the salaries of the clergy and that all ecclesiastical appointments would be made with the approval of the national government. Therefore, there was no separation whatever. Michael, what's that? Separation of church and state. That is correct. Poison gas. What country used mustard gas against both Iranian troops and its own Kurdish minority? Russell, next year. Afghanistan? I'm sorry, that's not correct. LaSalle, would you like to try? Michael. Uh, Iraq. Iraq's the correct answer. Falling. What phrase indicates a body is falling at precisely the acceleration imposed upon it? Jacob Assal. What is terminal velocity? Uh, that is not the correct answer. I'll finish the question for you, Net Cheese. Imposed upon it by gravitational acceleration. <laughs> Free fall was the answer they're looking for, Jacob. <laughs> Infinitives. What is the infinitive phrase in this passage? Stockholders of Enron wanted the company's former executives to get some jail time. Jacob Assal. What is to get some jail time? That is correct. Geology. Beautiful banded quartz is called what? Agate. That's the correct answer. Agate. Spies. 
A spy engaged in secret activities for intelligence services of two countries, providing information about one nation, Michael LaSalle. Double agent? Correct. To another is what kind of agent? Double agent. Proverbs. How is this prover proverb usually stated? It is fruitless to attempt to indoctrinate a superannuated canine with innovative maneuvers. Jacob LaSalle. Can't teach an old dog new tricks? That is correct. Longitude. The line of zero degrees longitude is the what? Libby LaSalle. Prime Meridian. That is correct. Monsters. This is from a story about what monster? We do not know what happens to them when they reach Crete. We do know because, uh, excuse me, we do not know because they never return. The sailors of Minos say they are placed in a strange prison, a kind of maze called Russell Vecchi's. Minotaur. Correct. Called the Labyrinth. <coughs> Depressions. Some may be filled with water. Others may be dry most of the time. Others may be drained by rivers. These depressions in the Earth's surface are called what? Michael LaSalle. Lakes? Uh, that is not the correct answer, Natchez. Do you want to give it a try? Yes. Floodplains? I'm sorry, uh, at least that's not correct. Correct answer, basins. Uh, Tubes. It is a sealed glass tube with a vacuum inside. A stream of electrons emitted at one end makes the fluorescent coating on the inside. Libby LaSalle. Fiber optics? I'm sorry, that's not correct. I'll finish the question for you, Net Cheese. On the inside of the other end, glow. Name this tube behind the screen in older televisions and computer monitors. Garrett. A cathode ray tube? That is correct. Nicely done, Garrett. Bodies of water. Name the sea and bay forming the southwestern and southeastern borders of India. Michael LaSalle. Uh, the Bay of Bengal and the Sea and the Yellow Sea. I'm sorry, not correct. Uh, Natchez, would you like to try? Yes, Garrett. The Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean. Uh, correct answer, Bay of Bengal, uh, Arabian Sea also. <sighs> Wars. In 1946, Ho Chi Minh began a war in Indochina against what country? <laughs> France. France. Dance is a category. A gliding ballet step from the fifth to the second to the fifth position performed in a low leap or prior to a leap. Libby LaSalle. Glissade. That is correct. It's called a glissade. Native American art. This describes what art form? They are cylindrical sculptures of stacked. Michael LaSalle. Totem pole. That is correct. Stacked animal and human figures which are frontally erect, bilaterally symmetrical, and shaped in relief within the overall pillar form. Atoms. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford bombarded a metal foil with alpha particles. Most passed through, but some were deflected from their path, some were deflected on right, excuse me, at right angles to the foil, and some in the direction from which they had come. He had discovered what part of an atom? Michael LaSalle. The nucleus. That is correct. Nucleus indeed. Literary slogans. Complete the third slogan from Orwell's 1984. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is... Michael LaSalle. Truth. Sorry, that is not correct. Russell. Not just... Bliss. I'm sorry. Ignorance is strength. Mm. But I, I liked both your answers. <laughs> um, the Declaration. The Declaration of Independence states that the British people were deaf to the voice of justice and of consanguinity. What is consanguinity? Jacob LaSalle. Reason. Sorry, not correct, Nechies. It would be blood relationships. Criminal law. Criminal law with uh, excuse me, which amendment to the Constitution guarantees that a person accused of a felony will receive a speedy and public trial? Yes, Libby. Sorry. Fifth? So, uh, sorry, it's not the Fifth mm. Amendment. Can I choose? Russell. The Seventh? I'm sorry, you guys sandwiched it beautifully. It's the <laughs> Sixth Amendment. Water analysis. Normal salt content of seawater is about 35,000 ppm. For what do the initials ppm stand, Michael LaSalle? Parts per million. That is correct, parts per million. Poetic settings. What state now occupies the region 
that is the setting for Longfellow's poem, The Courtship of Miles Standish. Yes, Michael Sal. Uh, Massachusetts. That is exactly right. Pirate stories. In Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, who's, who first sings these lyrics? Fifteen men on the dead man's chest, yo-ho-ho, and a bottle of rum. Michael Sal. Uh, Long John Silver. I'm sorry, not correct, Natchez. Yes, Russell. Blackbeard? Sorry, it's Billy Bones. Free fall. Water droplets in the atmosphere fall faster and faster until aerodynamic drag becomes equal to gravitational attraction. After this balance occurs, the drops continue to fall at a constant speed that is called the Michael LaSalle. Terminal velocity. That's correct. <laughs> Historic invasions. Dwight Eisenhower led an army of three million men on D-Day to wrest Europe. Michael LaSalle. Uh, no answer. Okay. Uh, I'll finish the question for you now, Cheese. From German control. This invasion took place on the beaches of what part of France? Garrett. Normandy. That is correct. <laughs> Adjectives. The adjective fantastic was derived from what noun? Jacob LaSalle. Fantasy. That is correct answer. Okay. That brings us to the end of the first round. And before we continue, we'll take a moment and... Uh, Learn a little bit more about today's players. Natchez, okay, Russell. Um, <coughs> you love music and golf. Yes. And it says marching with uh, it says Ranger Band. With the Ranger Band, yeah. What what's the Ranger Band? That it's it's the high school's marching. It's you know our band. It's the band class, and we do pet band, marching band, concert band. It's real fun. I see. And what what do you play in marching? Band? Uh, trombone. I see. And do you play the trombone for a long time? Uh, I think this is going on my seventh year playing it now. I see. I see. Well, congratulations. Uh, thank you. That sounds like fun. I, uh, I've uh, always admired marching bands, and uh, uh, actually I'm married to a woman who still wants to be in one, although she doesn't actually play an instrument, uh -huh. and the odds aren't looking very good. <laughs> um, Lisa, um, you write for Unleashed. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is Unleashed? It's a um, program for high school students throughout the Yakima Valley, and we write for the Yakima Herald Republic. I see. And what kind of, what kind of writing do you enjoy? Um, well, I like to write a lot of columns, and I like to do just feature stories on people. I see. So we're not talking like, uh, like poetry and creative. Or more like no, journal, it's more journalism. like reporting, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. Right on. Is that something you're interested in pursuing? At a, at a um, I'm not sure. Level? Maybe. Oh. All right. Well. Good luck with that. Thanks. And Garrett, um, I see uh, as well Lisa had written something about being in the WAAS program. Do you want to tell us what that is? Uh, that's the Washington Aerospace Scholars. And basically it's uh, an online program where we do a bunch of um, lessons related to the aerospace field. I see. That sounds fascinating. And uh, also you play music and you participate in karate. What, what, what do you play in music? What, what uh, I play trumpet, bass, guitar, and piano. I'm in the band with uh, Russell, and I play I trumpet. So. I see. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming today. Appreciate it. And LaSalle, uh, let's see. The night, all three of you guys are the same, same lineup. You guys are uh, <laughs> pros by now. Um, and Libby, you like dance and golf. Um, you play golf on a like a school team? Yeah, or? I'm on the LaSalle team. I see. And how's your golf game? It's okay. Uh -huh. It changes every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And and dance, you do you do dance as part of uh, like a school class or whatever or you just No, I just, just do it on my own. own. Uh-huh. All right. Well, thanks for coming. And um, Jacob, uh, it's a, you're like green and uh, and fringe culture. Yeah. Okay, and why don't you tell us about, I, we all got the green part, what, <laughs> so what kind of fringe culture do you enjoy uh, um, thinking about participating in? Well, just anything that's really not mainstream I tend to enjoy. Science fiction, fantasy, you know, that whole Star Trek, Star Wilm. I'm, I'm a Trekkie, definitely. Uh -huh. Live long. Doctor Who. Uh -huh. um, and other things that, like, I'm part of an orchestra band instead of the normal marching band. Anything that's not mainstream I tend to enjoy more than the mainstream stuff. I see. Well, congratulations. That's good. That's good. I need more of that. And... Uh, Mike, um, you uh, have football, track, and rugby written down here, so do you, you spend a lot of time playing sports? Um, yeah, right now I'm actually doing track and rugby, which is kind of a, a lot of time spent there, but mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I, what, what position do you play in rugby? In rugby, I play a, either lock or um, flanker, which is uh -huh. part right of the right forward back. pack. I see, I see. And you, you must spend a lot of time reading and doing other things. You have quite a wealth of information. Um, I, my dad... Me and my dad talk about just stuff like this a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's really smart. He's 
one of the smartest guys I've ever met, really. I see. Well, you guys are doing really well today. Congratulations right. and thanks Thank for you. coming. And today's coaches for LaSalle is brother Dan Morgan, and for Natchez, uh, Mr. Valentine and Mr. Van Wagner. We'll go ahead and get into the lightning round. Natchez, you have the choice today of the first of these four categories, and I'll go ahead and read them to you. Uh, periodic table two to the right. Geography, European tourist attractions, logarithms, and famous attorneys. Um, what was the first one? Periodic table to the right. Do you want to do that one? Okay. We're going to go with periodic table to the right. Okay. The right. Periodic table two to the right. I will name ten elements. Your task is to name the element that is located two spaces to the right of each one of these elements on the periodic table. Here we go. Carbon. Oxygen. Correct. Sulfur. Pass. Okay, argon. Nickel. Pass. Zinc. Aluminum. Phosphorus, nitrogen. Sodium. I'm sorry, fluorine. That's the correct answer. Chromium. That's iron. Sodium. Okay, the correct answer would be aluminum. Okay, and LaSalle, would you like me to reread the categories? Uh, could you please? Sure. Geography, European tourist attractions, logarithms, and famous attorneys. Do you want the logarithms or famous attorneys? Famous attorneys. Oh, famous attorneys. Okay. Please identify the following famous attorneys. The lawyer who defended John T. Scopes in the famous monkey trial of 1925, he also defended murderers Rick, uh, Nathan Leopold Jr. and Richard Loeb. Pass. That would be Clarence Darrow. The first African American to be appointed to the United States Supreme Court. Clarence Thomas. I'm sorry, it's actually Thurgood Marshall. Michael Marshall. <laughs> lawyer who defended both O.J. Simpson and Michael Jackson. Pass. Johnny Cochran. The lawyer who questioned Mark Furman during the O.J. Simpson trial. Pass. F. Lee Bailey. The lawyer who assisted in the prosecution of John T. Scopes, who also ran for president in 1896, 1900, and 1908. Pass. F. William Jennings Bryant. Mm -hmm. The Pass. attorney who became the first female to serve on the United States Supreme Court. Sandra Day O'Connor. That is correct. The lawyer who has represented Barry Zito, Alex Rodriguez, and J.D. Drew in contract negotiations. Pass. Scott Boris. The man <laughs> Thank you, LaSalle. And Natchez, would you like geography, European tourist attractions, or logarithms? We're going to do the European tourist attractions. Okay. Here we go. Please identify the following tourist attractions located in Europe. The official royal residence of the king or queen of England since 1930, excuse me, 1837. Buckingham Palace is correct. The highest mountain in the Alps. Pass. Mont Blanc. The gate where President Reagan delivered his tear down this wall speech in 1987. Pass. Brandenburg Gate. The art gallery that was established by the Medici family in Florence, Italy. Pass. The Uffizi Gallery. The world famous opera house located in the city of Milan. Pass. That's La Scala. The palace and fortress located on a hilly terrace on the edge of Granada, Spain. The Alhambra. Building from which Galileo performed many famous experiments on gravity. I shouldn't know that. That would be the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh. 
And LaSalle, that square. gives you the category of logarithms? Yep. Okay, right. here we go. Solve the, <laughs> Just like solve the following logarithm yeah. problems for x. One, the log base x of 289 equals 2. I'm sorry, the correct answer is 17. 2 is the log base 3 of 1 over 81 equals x. Pass. Okay, and that would be negative 4. The log base 4 of 4, uh, excuse me, the log base 4 of 4096 equals x. Okay, the correct answer for that one would be six. We're going to go ahead now and get into the toss-up bonus round. I will read a toss-up question, and if you answer correctly, you get the opportunity for four more bonus questions. Toss-up question category, scientific notation. Express the number 4,600 using scientific notation. Lisa Neshi's. 4.6 to the, or times 10 to the third power. That is exactly right. And the bonus question category today is words containing the letters I, E. I will describe four things, places, people, or ideas. Each correct answer contains the letters I, E, as in the word die. Your task is to provide the appropriate responses. One, five letter interjection used to express farewell. Two, the lens that is located closest to the human eye in a microscope. Three, a section of the painter de painted desert in eastern Arizona known for its fossilized trees. The four, the Vietnamese town where the French were defeated on May 7th of 1984, uh, Okay, the number one, adieu to eyepiece, three petrified forest, and four is the Battle of Dien, Dien Phu. Toss up category question, legal phrases. The phrase, law of the land, was first used in what English document? Michael LaSalle. Oh, uh, the Magna Carta. That's, that's correct. That's uh, always a good guess when it has something to do with an English document. <laughs> Um, bonus question category is mammals. I will name four mammals. Your task is to identify the classification order for each organism. One, baboon. Two, porpoise. Three, cheetah. Four, elephant. Okay, the first one is primate. That is correct. Uh, feline. Oh, no, 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 sorry, he has it backwards. <laughs> Wait, so you don't have anything for two? Okay, uh, skip the second one. Okay, which would be cetacea. Cetacea. The third is feline. I'm sorry, carnivora. Carnivora, okay. <laughs> and the fourth is pachyoderm. I'm sorry, it's proboscidea. Okay, toss up question. Category bullion. The largest U.S. bullion depository is in what state? Michael LaSalle. New York. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Natchez, would you like to try? Russell. Texas. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. The state is Kentucky. Fort Knox. Oh, in Kentucky. War. Uh, category war. Fifteen nations fought alongside the United States during what war in the 1950s? Libby LaSalle. The Korean War. That is the correct answer. Korean War, indeed. Bonus question category, American history. Please identify the following places, people, dates, ideas, and things associated with the history of the United States. One, the year in which the Stamp Act was passed by Parliament. 
two, the war in which the United States acquired Puerto Rico. Three, the position held by Robert McNamara in John F. Kennedy's cabinet. And four, the Indian chief who led the Seminoles in Florida during the Second Seminole War. Answers, please, Captain. Uh, first one, 1771. Sorry, it was 1765. Uh, uh, the second is Spanish-American War. That is correct. Uh, third, Secretary of Defense. That's exactly right. Yeah. What does that say? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, number four is Osceola. That was the correct yeah. answer. Osceola. <laughs> Toss-up question. Ancient geology. The Greek philosopher Theophrastus was discussing what material when he wrote about, quote, substances found in Liguria and in Elis, which kindle and burn and are used by smiths, end quote. Michael LaSalle. Magnesium. I'm sorry, not correct. Uh, next try, next cheese. Sorry, the correct answer is coal. Uh, and that brings us to the end of the game. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, LaSalle, congratulations. Natchez, thank you very much for coming down. I hope you had a fun time today. I know I did. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you'll watch again another edition of the 2011 KYVE Apple Bowl. KYVE Apple Bowl is presented by the Washington Apple Education Foundation and these participating underwriters.